Hey everyone, it is Tanya. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another speed build. I'm so excited because today I am sharing another part of my state series where I'm going through and building houses based on facts that I find about each state as well as some fun Zillow listings in various cities and towns and, uh, you know, try and make a house that encompasses my findings in The Sims. These are never going to be 100% accurate because I don't live and haven't traveled to every state. However, they are based on a lot of research on the environments as well as the population of each area, what sort of people live there, and of course the architecture I'm seeing in the area and just like fun activities. So hopefully you will enjoy this because today we are tackling the state of Alaska. This one was highly requested, especially because recently I mentioned wanting to do something that might fit nicely in the winter because it is currently winter here in the Northern Hemisphere and it's been pretty cold. Uh, I live in New England, which is on the opposite side of country, the country from Alaska, and it's been frigid the last couple of days. Uh, so I thought that this was the perfect timing for this. So let's dive on into it. So I decided to build in the world of Moonwood Mill because I thought it looked the most like the environments that I was seeing in my research. And it was also suggested from a bunch of y'all who have either visited or lived in Alaska. So I always read those comments. If you have any specific suggestions for future state builds, do leave those down below. Uh, so I thought it was perfect here. And I feel like this house might not look like what you would expect if you've never traveled to or looked into Alaska because I feel like there's a lot of stereotypes on the weather there and what the people are like and what their homes might be like. And I just wanted to make sure that I didn't just make a little log cabin in the middle of nowhere where there is no civilization whatsoever because there are areas that exist like that, but that is not all of Alaska. And so we're gonna talk quite a bit about that. And I will say before we get into all of these little fun facts that I searched up, some of them are just like, you know, basics about where this is located and uh, the temperatures and, you know, dens density of population and all of that. And other things are like silly fun facts because I love doing those as well. Um, I did want to mention that I strongly looked in the cities and towns of Anchorage, Alaska and Homer, Alaska. Uh, so those are the places I drew a lot of inspiration from, but I looked in a few other places as well. But those were the main ones. So if you're not familiar with Alaska, it is an extremity of North America. It borders British Columbia and Canada and shares a border with Russia, a maritime border. And it was admitted to the Union on January 3rd, 1956. Its capital is Juneau and its largest city is Anchorage. And actually speaking of Juneau, Juneau is like the only U.S. capital that, um, <laughs> U.S. state capital that you can't actually reach by car. You have to take a boat or a plane to get there, which is so cool. I did not know that. Um, and Alaska is the largest U.S. state by area. It has more total area than the next three largest states combined of Texas, California, and Montana, which is wild to me. And it's the seventh largest subnational division in the world. It is the third least populous and most sparsely populated U.S. state. And that means it only has a population of 736,081 as of 2020 which brings its population density to one person per square mile, which is a very, very small uh, amount of people, but it's a massive, gorgeous state. Uh, I have always been really fascinated with Alaska. My dad actually used to live there. Uh, he lived in Homer, which is why I decided to look there for some inspiration. Uh, and I just, I had so much fun with this film. I'm really, really, very, very excited to share it. I think it came out really cute. I love the little touches of personality I put throughout it. And I think it just looks like a cozy family home that could be placed in like a lot of different places in The Sims. Obviously, I built this in Moonwood Mill, but you could probably place this in Glimmerbrook or Granite Falls for a vacation or there's just a lot of places it could go. Uh, but I did build this in the winter because I wanted to... Uh, you know, do some builds that were a little bit more wintry, but Alaska is not always super cold. They have some really nice summers and uh, I'll find the fact here somewhere because I wrote down so many fun facts, but uh, they have pretty normal summers and I believe the record for heat in the summer was 100 degrees Fahrenheit and that was in 1915. So, you know, it, it's not always freezing there. <laughs> it's actually really gorgeous and a lot of people do vacation there in the summers. Uh, and uh, I've never visited, but I really want to someday. It's just flying is expensive. So I do not go on vacations ever. Uh, it's just, it's a lot of money. 
But anyway, this is the kitchen space. I wanted to have like an eat-in table over here and look like we had like a bench seating space. Obviously that does not work, but the chairs do work. And I was using a lot of dark woods because that is what I was seeing in a lot of the homes in the area. I also use a, a lot of stone in here because I was seeing a lot of that as well. And you're gonna see something a little bit quirky in this kitchen because one of my favorite things to do in the state series is be inspired by like the homes in general, the architecture in general, but also some very specific things about silly homes. Uh, for example, when I created the first build in this entire series, it was for Wyoming and it had carpeted bathrooms and a bright blue wall. And that was because I saw a couple of fun bathrooms or fun houses that had some weird touches to them. And so not every house in that area had that, but I decided to include that. Well, for this build, I saw many houses that had a large collection of duck sculptures um, <laughs> and various other birds. So we have a, uh, a mallard on top of the fridge here, and I'm about to grab a bunch of bird feathers to hang up here as well. I was trying to research different birds that you might actually find in the area, and the same goes for the fact that fishing is really big in Alaska. So I decided to add some fishing stuff in this house. We have like the fishing rod that came with the clutter kit as well as like some mounted fish. So I was trying to do my research as best as possible uh, to make those things accurate. But there are a lot of bird things in here. I believe we get, yeah, this one has a goose on it. We have a uh, chicken over here. We actually end up having chickens outside as well because um, a lot of different areas in Alaska, not all of them, uh, but it is a thing to, you know, live off the land that can be in any any state and it, it's coming to have chickens. So I put some chickens outside. I thought it was really cute and it kind of fit in with this whole like we like birds uh, that I got from a couple of houses, which I just thought was a fun addition. <laughs> Let me know if you know anyone in Alaska or anywhere that has like a large collection of one type of animal statues in their house. I even added this guy over here. I'm going to move him, but like there's just a lot of birds in here. <laughs> I was admiring all the birds that I placed throughout. I thought it was really fun. So anyway, back to some of our fun facts before I forget to read you all of this information about Alaska because I like to learn about the states and share what I learned as well as incorporating some or a lot of it into the builds. It really depends. And then fun things like birds. Uh, but <laughs> indigenous people have lived in Alaska for thousands of years and it's widely believed that the region is the entry point for the initial settlement of North America by way of a land bridge. Uh, and the indigenous population of Alaska is higher than any other U.S. state at over 15 percent. And there's many different indigenous languages that are spoken. And the natives to Alaska are super influential in local and state politics. Uh Actually, 730,000 residents are natives with 20 distinct cultures and 300 different dialects. I thought that that was really cool and important to mention. I know that they are incredibly influential in that area, and I didn't want to forget to talk about the native population. I find that to be very fascinating and important, um, and I've always just had a little bit of interest in um, natives all over the country, not just in Alaska, because um, my family has native roots and my mom's always been super into it and talks all about that kind of stuff. So uh, I'm always very interested to read about that when I am doing the research behind these states. So there is that fishing decoration that I had mentioned from the clutter kit that I put, put down over there with a couple other decorations. I also decided to put a like kind of built-in office nook here in the kitchen I thought it looked really nice and we had this awkward space here so it fit the space perfectly and I thought it was a pretty realistic touch for this kitchen. Uh, I really like how the space comes out. Obviously we don't have a separate dining room but we have a really big dining section in the kitchen and I'm just adding some more clutter pieces. I, I couldn't decide on how many things I wanted to add and now I'm being indecisive with the couches. We actually have a couple of different couches in this space and you can see I have a bunch of fish hanging up on the wall as well. I wanted to incorporate those uh, thinking one of these sims was into fishing or maybe the whole family is. I also got like a little fishing plaque that's like a reward of some sort and a moose stuffed animal because there are a lot of moose in Alaska. There is a breed of moose, I believe that's just called the Alaskan moose, that is like one of the biggest ones and I believe they can weigh up to 1600 pounds and can be like six feet wide. Uh, I know I used to get sent pictures all the time from my dad being like, well, I just took this long to get to the store because there was a moose in the road. And you really can't do much about that. You just kind of have to wait for them to move uh, because they, they can be kind of mean. 
and could easily unalive someone. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that's a fun fact about Alaska, I suppose, is there are moose. And I feel like I'd be terrified if I ever saw one. Uh, but yeah, just working on the living room here and we're going to get into some more information about Alaska. Uh, so they have abundant natural resources and it has helped them to have one of the highest per capita incomes in the country. Um, that includes commercial fishing, natural gas and oil. Uh, they also have armed force bases and tourism is a huge thing in Alaska as well because it's so gorgeous and not only all of like the beautiful uh, glaciers and mountains and the snow, but also the northern lights, which I'll talk about a little bit in a little while. Um, they have half of the state is federally owned land that contains national forests, national parks, wildlife, refuges. Like it's such a beautiful state. I really, really hope I can go there someday. Um, also, Alaska is home to more than 40% of the U.S.'s surface water resources. It has 3 million lakes that are bigger than five acres and 12,000 rivers, <laughs> not to mention like all of the ponds and creeks and all of that. Uh, and it has the most commercial fisheries in the U.S. Uh, that have five species of salmon, four species of crab, codfish, halibut, and more, which are all harvested in Alaska. Uh, over here in the living room, by the way, <laughs> as I babble on about Alaska here, uh, I decided to create a little kids area that's kind of outdoorsy themed. I thought it was really cute here. I needed to add the Sasquatch stuffed animal. I just thought it looked adorable. I was imagining there was two parents in this house and also two kids. I did decorate the second bedroom to be for uh, kids with bunk beds. Uh, so this is a two bedroom, one bathroom house. I forgot to mention that. I've just been letting you all know about this beautiful, beautiful state. So anyway, there is a glacier called the Matanuska. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, but the Matanuska Glacier is the largest glacier in the United States and it's accessible by road. And it's of course located in Alaska and uh, it is huge, but also has naturally formed ice formations that showcase deep blue colored ice, which I just, oh, that sounds gorgeous. And also Alaska has more coastline than the rest of the U.S. combined with more than 34,000 miles of coastline. Working on the one and only bathroom now, it's pretty simple, but I wanted to make sure there was some clutter in this space to make it feel lived in. I love the tile I used in this space. It's also in the kitchen. I also have a stone floor in here. It's just really cozy. It's like the same layout I use for a lot of bathrooms, but it's what fit best in this floor plan. And then we we're moving on into the office space because this has an office as well as a kind of makeshift garage skill building room. So those are rooms that could also be turned into bedrooms. So this could potentially be a four bedroom house instead of a two bedroom house. But I decided it would be nice to have a little office space in here. So we're just getting some storage cabinets, a desk computer, some extra clutter, a bookcase, you know, all of that kind of stuff. I also added some planters in here if your Sims decided they wanted to do some gardening during the winter months and then uh, just working on the entryway. I did not know what I wanted to put here. Obviously, there's a lot of doors in this space, but I knew I wanted to add this really cute decoration from Snowy Escape that has all of like this outdoor equipment and rock climbing and all of that sort of stuff. I feel like Mount Komorebi would be another cool location you could place this house. Uh, Mount Komorebi is based on Japan, but obviously, if you have that world and you don't have this one, it is another snowy world that uh, I think this house would fit nicely in. But anyway, in this space, I did want to make sure we had laundry because we had extra space to do it. If you don't want it, you could easily delete that. Like I said, this could be another bedroom or this could be an office. There, there's lots of things you could do with this space. Uh, but I, I pretty much just made it like a garage. So I have a bike in here and laundry and I'm trying to think what else. I think the decoration box is in here. Lots of random clutter to make it feel uh, realistic. I thought that that little plastic container from the bathroom kit looked really nice there. Uh, it, it just made sense to me. It felt like extra storage you might see in a garage. Uh, also, soon when the new expansion pack comes out, we're going to be able to have kids bikes. Oh my gosh, my garage is going to have so many bikes in them. I also put a couple of these like university banners in here. Maybe they were old banners from one of the parents, whatever school they went to. I thought that that was a fun idea. And I got a cork board in here as well. Uh, anyway, this is going to be the primary bedroom. And I decided to carpet the bedrooms. I thought about adding green carpet because uh, there were quite a few houses I saw that had green carpet, but it just didn't feel right in this house. So I decided to go with like this darker colored carpet instead. So it was a little bit more neutral, uh, but I still wanted to incorporate uh, the carpet into this house. 
I think this bedroom came out pretty cute. It's really simple. It's super cozy. I felt like I wanted to make sure I brought in some of the wood tones from the rest of the house so that it matched. Uh, so I'm going to let that play out and I'm going to try and go through the rest of these fun facts before this video ends. I'm not sure if I'm going to get to them all. Uh, but the forest called Tongass is located in the capital of Alaska, Juneau, and it is 16.7 million acres. It's considered to be the largest national forest in the United States. Uh, Alaska's actual state sport is also dog mushing, which is so cute. Uh, it involves hordes of pups, a musher, and a sled pulled by dogs, but there's also some more modern vehicles for that. Uh, sometimes they use snowmobiles, but uh, it's it's still really cute. I love dogs. <laughs> I love dogs so much. And because of that uh, being mentioned, uh, let me see where did I write it down? I don't see it. Uh, I also read that Alaskan Malamutes are one of like the oldest dog breeds, and that is the dogs that are used for that. Anyway, I don't know where I wrote that down, but most of the year in Alaska has the Northern Lights or the Aurora Borealis. It starts around mid-August and lasts until mid-April, which is 240 days. So you have quite a lot of days that you can see that. And the city of Fairbanks is perfect for that and the most common location that people travel to to see the see those northern lights. Uh, by the way, this kid's bedroom, I think, came out so cute. It's like outdoorsy themed. I added another moose in here. I just thought it was perfect. I, I just needed to mention that, but I only have like 30 more seconds. They have a lot of volcanoes. Seismic activity, 130 volcanoes. 90 of them are considered to be active. And uh, uh, Alaska Day is on October 18th. And lastly, they they don't have state sales tax. So fun facts. I, I wrote down more than I could even talk about today. So that's fun. And with that, we're going to be heading on into screenshots. I really hope you enjoyed this build, this next installment of my state series. Please let me know how I did. Let me know what state you would like to see next. And uh, like this video if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more and click that bell to be notified when I upload. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy those screenshots. Bye everyone.